Hello everyone, my name is Abian Velasquez and today I'll be talking to you guys about the call function, apply function, and bind function. Uh, this is just a quick overview of what the three are, the differences, and why you will need them. Uh, not too in depth of uh, the functionalities, but just give you an example so you guys can really understand uh, really quick and be able to use it right away after this video. In line four, I have a name variable called Mike. In line 6 to 11, I have an object called my car. The name is Toyota and just a function called color change. Because it's a parameter color and is my, this name is color. So my Toyota is purple, for example. I hope this is very clear and makes sense. Now on line 12 or 13, how will you guys call color change? Uh, by calling color change, all I have to do is call my car that color change. And down here in the console, I'm just going to run it to see what we get. We get my Toyota is undefined. Obviously, my car, which is the object in line 6, calls color change line 8. And it says my this.name, which is Toyota. So my Toyota is the color is undefined because we never passed anything through it, as you guys can see. So 13 is the way we can pass it. Another way we can pass it is obviously just putting the parameter. So let's say blue. So here we have node. As you can see, it says my Toyota is blue. Yes, it's blue because we're passing this parameter to color. And all color is doing is doing my Toyota is. And so color is this color, which is blue. So this is two, well, a way to call color change. Now there's three other ways that you can call color change. That's using call, apply, and bind. And I will get to the specifications of it later on. So on this line, I will say my car dot color change dot call. I will say my car and black. So what do you see with this function? You see my object, the name of the function, and call. Call will hold in his first parameter an object, and in the other parameter, which is this one, uh, just a string. Or other, or you can say other parameters. So pretty much, let's call this function to see what we get output it. we get my Toyota is black. So as you can see, my car is calling color change. Call is just putting the same object here. And this black is actually this color parameter. So we're saying my Toyota is and this color, which is got passed here, black. So my Toyota is this color, is this color, which is here black so pretty much 16 is behaving the same way as 13 and 14 as you guys can see uh, let's try uh, my apply color change dot apply my car and white so the first parameter apply grabs is object then the others then is an array actually so my car is the object that you want to call. The color change is a function in the object that you're trying to call. And apply pretty much has these parameters. My car is a function that you want to or the object that you want to use. And white is a parameter that you want to pass. So white goes right here in color change. But how does this know that white is passing through here? Well, obviously, because you're just calling color change right here. That's how it knows to pass it to there. So let's call it right here, node topics. As you can see, my Toyota is white. So this worked per perfectly fine. So 13, 14, 15, and 16, and 17 are all working exactly the same way. Now one last way is far color, my car color change that bind my car.
So in line 19, I'm using my car, color change, and actually using bind. And I'm just passing here the object. And I'm putting all this in a variable called color. Then color obviously is a function, so I'm just going to pass the parameter that it holds. So when we run this, it should say my Toyota is gray because color change is getting called and the only thing what we're passing through it is the parameter gray. So node topics, my Toyota is gray and that is perfect. So you've seen 13 to 21, they pretty much all behave the same. But what is the difference? The main difference between 16, 17, and 19 is the fact that these objects right here hold a this to it. I will give you guys a better example so you guys can see the this to it that it uses. So let me give you an example saying your car. So the name for your car is Mercedes. So let me console log that. Let me console log your car. And see what we get. So let me clear this out and just make sure. So here, obviously, all we have in your car is the name Mercedes. But what if we want to call this function with this object? Let's say we don't want to add any function to this object. We just want to call this real quick to see. Well, that's where call, apply, and bind comes in. You can actually do that. So here, I'll give you an example. My car that color changed that call. Instead of passing this my car, I'll call, I'll pass the object that I want to pass that I want to call color function. So this function. In this object, I'm going to call it, and I'm going to pass it this object with this color. So here, when I do node topics, I get my Mercedes is black. See, so I don't get my Toyota is black anymore. I get my Mercedes. But like I told you, this call puts a this to, to your car. So this name is not Toyota anymore. It's Mercedes. So what call, apply, and bind do is stick the this to this object right here. So whatever object you put here, the this applies to that. And obviously, the black is just a parameter that goes right there. So let's try this with apply to see if it works. So your car. My Mercedes is white, perfect. And let's try it with bind. Oh. I can get rid of this. As you can see, my, oh, my Toyota, that's because I never changed the object. So my Toyota is gray is because my car is getting passed. I'm just saying right here, my car is the object, color change is the function. But what am I calling my car? So then this is my car, which is Toyota. But if I want this information in this object, then I just say your car. If I run it again, I get my Mercedes is gray. So what is the difference though between 2021 and 23? Well, the main difference is, is just the fact or the way you're calling them. 20 and 21, you can call them, they're called automatically. The only difference is, as I hear you use an array, and here you won't use an array. With 23, or the binding function, sorry, the binding function, the main difference is the fact that you can call this color function whenever you want. It's not automatic. So 2021 calls it automatically, 23, it calls, since you're putting everything in a variable, you can call that function whenever you want. And let's say this function right here in line eight has many parameters. So it says has color two. So plus 
let's just say color 2. How would we do this? All you have to do in call is just put a different parameter. So say uh, blue. So let's run this. So you get my Mercedes is black blue. And for apply, since it's an array, we can add anything we can to the array. So white and black, for example. So we have node topics.js. My Mercedes is white black. So all we have to do is if there's multiple parameters, just add to the call and apply the parameters. So just to rephrase, all these three from 17 to 23 do the exact same thing. The difference is that call apply and binding hold the this to these objects. And the difference between call apply and bind is that call apply are called immediately, immediately and bind is called whenever you want. And the difference between call and apply is just the way they're called. Uh, there's not much to difference. Uh, there could be many more differences or even internally, but this is just a quick overview of call, apply, and bind.